two, three, come on! Best morning guys, I'm Marvin and Olazo and you can call me Sir Marms and I'll be your teacher for today's lesson. Tara na! Matuto! Alright, alright! Alright kids, before we go on to our discussion, let's have first our math song! Thank you so much my dear grade 5 the pupils. And our topic is all about the visibility rules 4, 2, 5 and 10. Before we continue our discussion let us know and understand first the following key points that we will be using in our discussion proper. Are you ready kids? Now, let's continue. Divisibility rules. When we say divisibility rules, these rules that we are going to identify easily and test if one number can be exactly divided by another without doing any computation. Next, divisible by. When we say divisible by, when you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number without remainder. When we say whole numbers, simply numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth without any remainder. And factor. When we say factor, example, when a number A is divisible by a number B, then number B is a factor of number A. To understand more, let's proceed with our first topic, divisibility rule for number two. How we're going to know if a number has a factor or divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, and we call that even numbers. Example, 48 is divisible by 2 because its last digit is 8. Thus, 2 is a factor of 48. Did you get it? Is 96 divisible by 2? Why? What do you think? The answer is yes, because its last digit is 6, and that is an even number, therefore it is divisible by 2. Then, let's proceed. What about? Divisibility rule for number 5. How are we going to know if a certain number is a factor of 5 or divisible by 5? A number is divisible by 5 if it ends in 0 or 5. Any number that ends in 0 or 5 that is divisible by 5. Example, 60 is divisible by 5 because its last digit is 0. Thus, 5 is a factor of 60. Now, my question is, is 85 divisible by 5? Why did you say? The answer, yes, because its last digit is 5, therefore, it's divisible or a factor of 5. Next, let's have 
divisibility rule for number 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends only in 0. All numbers that ends in 0 is automatically divisible by 10. Example 70 is divisible by 10 because its last digit is 0. Thus, 10 is a factor of 70. Did you get it? My question now is, is 120 divisible by 10? Why did you say? Our answer? Yes, because its last digit is 0. And if it ends in 0, it's divisible by 10. Please take note of this. At sanay, lagi mo matandaan. All numbers that are divisible by 10 are automatically divisible by 2 and 5. Remember that. All numbers that ends in 0 are divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Finally, if a number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10, that number therefore has a factor of 2, 5, and 10. Hopefully, you won't forget it and always matandaan! Finally, challenge yourself with must try now! Get your paper now. You have your own time, just hit pause when you want to stop. Find which among 2, 5, and 10 is a common factor of the following pairs of numbers. Let's start with number 1, 484 and 136 using the visibility 2, 5, and 10. Find their common factor. Hit pause. Now na! I think you are done. Let's reveal and check your answer. 484 ends in 4, so it is divisible by 2. 136 ends in 6 and that's even, so it is divisible by 2. Therefore, their common factor is 2. Congratulations! Now, let's proceed. Number 2. 140 and 345. Using divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10, find their common factor or common factors. Hit pause now na! I think you are done and let's reveal and check your answer. Since 140 ends in 0, so... It is divisible by 2, by 5, and 10. 345 ends in 5, so it is divisible only by 5. Therefore, their common factor is 5. You got it? Congratulations! Let's proceed. To number 3, 560 and 230, find their common factor or common factors. Hit pause now na! I think you are done and let's reveal and check your answer. 560 ends in 0. So, it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. 230 
ends in 0. So it is also divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Therefore, their common factors are 2, 5, and 10. You got it? Congratulations! Now, let's proceed to number 4. 948 and 750. Find among 2, 5, and 10 is a common factor of these two numbers. Hit pause now na! I think you are done. Let's reveal and check your answer. 948 ends in 8. So, it is divisible only by 2 because that's an even number. 750 ends in 0. So, it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Therefore, their common factor is 2. You got it! Congratulations! <laughs> Lastly, let us find 1,240 and 1,456, their common factor among 2, 5, and 10. Hit pause! Now na! Think you are done? Let's reveal and check your answer. 1,240 ends in 0, so it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. 1,456 ends in 6, so it is divisible by 2 because that's an even number. Therefore, their common factor is 2. You got it? Congratulations! Alright, to those who got perfect score, congratulations, keep it up. And to those who got 3 below, you have the time to replay this video. Thank you so much. so much for being with me all throughout and i hope you enjoy our lesson for today and till next time bye for now god bless and happy learning